Hey, Star Wars fans, Action Mega Collectors, welcome back to another episode of The Clone Wars Thursday Throwback. We're looking at Savage Opress this time. Uh, this one goes out to the Metal Jedi. Um, he was a guest on my live stream this, this past weekend. And uh, yeah, I didn't have anything lined up for this weekend. He uh, put out a request for Savage. Now, funnily enough, I believe at the time of this release, I was one of the first, if not the first, on YouTube to do a review on this guy, um, which was exciting at the time. <laughs> it got a lot of views. Um, yeah, this was a Tung Hori purchase. Back when, back in like 2010, 11, maybe even a little bit of 2012, where there was actually a lot of early releases dropped out through Tung Hori. Um, so yeah, I never did get a carded release of this one. His hand's always just sort of been a little bit loose. Maybe that's why it was a potential factory second on Tung Hori. That it's always been the it's always been the the theory that they're sort of they've always been like seconds, uh, not quite past quality control. Um, so yeah, that's that's the main reason why I don't have any packaging to show you. Um, but yeah, this figure still holds up pretty damn nice. It looks good. He does. He did come with another sort of more playable version of this of this axe. And it had a big big sort of loop in the middle where you could pop a pop a missile in it and you flick it out and it would pop off and yeah, I, I didn't hold on to those things for very long, all those little play features that came with some of the Clone Wars figures back in the day. Really didn't hold on to them for long. Yeah, I'd love to see a realistic version of Savage come into, you know, whether the vintage collection or the Black Series, wouldn't argue either way. I think probably the vintage collection, I don't know. Either way for me personally, you know, I'm, I'm pretty open to either way. I would love to get, get one either way, you know, an updated sort of realistic sort of styled which wouldn't be too far different from this I don't think there's some nice paint apps you could probably get away with using this figure again really maybe a little bit extra tooling in the ankles just to give you some extra articulation so yeah I will if I can find it during editing and uploading, I will put a link right at the end of the video towards the, the original review that I did of this guy back in, must have been 2011, I reckon. It may have been early 2012, but um, yeah, I won't know until I find it. But yeah, another thing I do have here to show you alongside of this is the other Savage Press. And I wasn't going to bring him out, I was going to do this review separately um yeah unfortunately i never got a single carded version of savage in either either of these two this one came with the three pack if i remember i'll flash it up on screen there it comes with darth maul and the night sister so in that pack he didn't come with a lightsaber so this is actually a custom lightsaber which i had to make back in the day and uh it's done its job it's held up you know, it's a, it's a few a couple of little cut-off pieces from a Count Dooku lightsaber. And I think most I think the hilt itself was Darth Maul. A few ex a few little chops and changes and stuff. But for the most part it is held up on the shelf for me, so I've been pretty happy with that. I haven't needed to fork out the hundred dollars that he goes for now, this particularly this armored version. So I dare say would probably be the more likely sort of version to come out in a in a new new stylized figure, whether it's vintage collection or black series. So yeah, it was a pretty exciting time. You know, I was talking about that on the Darth Maul review I did a few weeks back. The chicken legs Darth Maul. It was a pretty exciting time. Seeing Maul come back and his brother Savage. You know, Savage picked up the force really, really quick. Under the tutelage of uh, of Count Dooku, 
So I'm not going to go too much into this figure. So I may end up saving him for a bit of close of a closer look one day. I'll try and get up a little bit closer on the head sculpt there. Sort of snarling teeth looks good. A little bit more of the the beast, the animal that he was at this time, where he went basically went straight and took out those two Jedi at that temple just as a test for Dooku. Dude's got some guns. Yeah, I even remember that sort of little mark there on the back being a little bit of a mispaint. So again, one of those theories of Tung Hori being for seconds. But yeah, never any major issues through Tung Hori. So this was way back when. So talking 13, 14 years ago at this point, which is making me feel terribly old. But yeah, Savage has a ball, ball and socket in the head. There's a hinge in the elbow there. A shoulder. Hinge in the elbow. I was looking at the elbow. It just swivels in the wrists. Swivel in the waist. Swivels at the hips there. And a hinge in the knee. So, yeah, not this most articulated. But still, you know, an imposing part of the Clone Wars display. Yeah, he's big. He's yellow. Like a Darth Maul on... on Dark side steroids. <laughs> and yeah, I was very, very excited at the time when this figure came in. Back when Tungori was selling on eBay. And I remember him getting listed and I was frantically trying to put this thing through on my phone. And you know, the, the internet on the phones back then were pretty darn slow. So it took a while, but it got there in the end. And here it is. So, yeah, big thanks to, to Brian, also known as Metal Jedi. Come and check out my chat with him from this previous weekend. It's up on my channel. Really great discussion. Looking forward to talking with him again. And I hope you enjoyed checking out Savage Opress in this sort of throwback Thursday review for the Clone Wars. Back with more next week. Hope you all have a happy and fantastic Easter weekend if you indeed celebrate it. And like I said, we'll see you again next week for some more. Until then, may the Force be with you always. We would be honoured if you would join us.